What's up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number six. This is a, a show on a live show on how to have a no excuses business mindset guiding you to become become a better leader with better communication, teamwork, and problem solving so that you can make more money with strategy and structure to operate to dominate on the battlefield of business. This show is for business owners, executives, managers, and their teams struggling with daily development, teaching, and training of your team where we will guide them on how to become even better leaders, communicators, problem solvers, so that you be prepared for the battlefield of business and begin treating the business as if it's their own, allowing you to focus on the growth and scale of the business. This is Steve Says, episode number six, and today we're going to talk about the new year, about the goals, about reflection on the previous year, and I want to ask you a question to kind of start off. Do you have a structured process for your end of the year reflection, for your review from the previous year? Do you have a structured process for goal setting for your business in the upcoming year? Or do you just wing it? Is it half-assing it? Is it bullshitting? If you do half-ass reflection, you're going to get half-ass projections and half-ass results in the upcoming year. And around here, we, we consider December 1st fucking New Year's. That's our New Year's in the family. That's our New Year's in the business. We've already started the New Year. We had our New Year's fucking celebration because... We're not taking the month of December off. That's the that's the first thing I want to I want to I want to start off here. First thing I want to sink into your fucking brain is that you do not take the entire month of December off. Most people take December off. They think, oh, it's a slow time, sales, whatever. Uh, it is it is that's the wrong mentality to have to think automatically. Just really, those are just excuses. And then next thing you know, you're you're blaming the fucking weather. Then you're blaming the time of year. Then it's too hot out. It's too cold out. Then you say it's it's the summer, so people are away on vacation. Then it's the winter, and it's too cold. Then you say it's the holidays. People are with family and shopping. You, you can always have a bullshit fucking excuse. It's 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 International Fucking Squirrel Day in Guatemala. So let's 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 say that business is going to be slow. Fuck that. Those are just labels you're putting on the business to give yourself an excuse to not push the needle fucking forward, to not move the needle forward, or when. Shit doesn't get the results that you're looking for. Those are just your excuses. So we need to create a step-by-step process to look back on the previous year of business and set some ridiculous fucking goals for the upcoming year. That's where you need to be. That's what you need to think about. So this this show is, is, is helping companies' owners, teams, managers with leadership, teawork, communication, in a in a immersive developmental way without deviating from their mission and their culture. We're building your team for the battlefield of fucking business. That's what it's about. We're building your leadership to be able to lead on the battlefield. So let's do this. Let's freaking roll. So let's let's talk about yearly reviews, yearly debriefs, we call them. AAR, after action review, after action report, whatever the fuck you want to call it. First thing you need to do is You should have your categories of where you're judging the business and you should give it a rating. Now, first, you should have this type of reflection, review, and planning and goal setting with just the leadership team, whoever, whatever the size it is for leadership. And then you need to have this similar meeting where you're bringing what you came up with leadership team with the entire team. This both both should be done because you want input from all those different areas. So... You need to give your, yourself a score in different areas. What was your goals for last year? Do you even, do you even fucking track them? Do you, is there, are they even measurable? Can you go back and look and see, okay, which ones did we get? Which ones didn't we get? What percentage of this one did we get? Which ones, what caused us to reach this goal? What caused us to miss this goal? And not holding back, not fucking bullshitting, giving yourself a score in whatever different areas you need to, in your sales, in your marketing, in your retention, in your... Obviously, there's going to be a lot of numbers involved here. A lot of fucking money numbers. Don't be afraid of money. This is a business show. We're talking about motherfucking money. So just deal with it. How much money did you make? What was the revenue? We're not just concerned about the revenue. How much fucking profit did we have? What did the marketing campaigns look like? What marketing campaigns worked? Which ones we need to use again going forward? How can we look at last year and plan how to, how to set up the goals for this upcoming year? 
This is all the shit you need to be thinking about in these types of meetings. Then give yourself ratings on leadership. Give yourself ratings on communication, on teamwork, on problem solving and decision making, on motivation. Give yourself ratings on all these things. Give yourself rating on discipline, on energy, on confidence, on action. Were you in action? Did you fucking take action this year? This is what you need to do. And then you need to have some serious discussions in all these different areas. Starting with action. Let's stay with, start with action. Like, what actions did you take in 2021? And let's put it down. Put it down. Talk about it with your leadership team and then eventually with the entire team. And everyone should be answering these types of questions. I'm not going to go through all of them because we'd be here for fucking hours. I'm just going to give you an idea of some of the categories and some of the questions you should be asking. What actions did you take in 2021? And then what actions did you fucking fail to take in 2021? And put those down. We're talking about right now, we're talking strictly on the business side, right in the company, on the business. You also should do this stuff in your personal life, with your family, but we're talking, this is Steve Knows, this is our Monday show all about business, where we're talking about leadership, teamwork, communication, hiring, firing, onboarding, sales, marketing, all that good stuff. So we're, when we're talking about this right now, we're talking about specifically in the business sense, unless the question is is otherwise addressed towards like your personal life. So I want you to think about business for this. We're going to talk about similar stuff tomorrow on, on Steve Says, which is all about personal development, your mindset, and all that good stuff. So what actions did you fail to take in the business in 2021? Like what were some of the, the things you, you said you're going to do? What are some of the goals you said you were going to achieve in 2021 that you failed to take? What actions did you fail to take? What did you want to get done? You didn't get done. And then really just after those two questions, what actions did you take? What actions did you need to take? Before we go even further, before we even go in a deeper detail, I want to ask you this question. It's a yes or no fucking question. In your business, now we're not talking life in general. In just the business, your business, your finances, your company, whatever it is, maybe you're a manager, maybe you're a CEO, maybe you're a vice president, whatever the hell it is, or maybe you're the owner of the motherfucking company, are you satisfied with the outcome of 2021? A yes or a no? Now, don't give me the bullshit. Oh, I'm never satisfied. I hate that fucking answer. I'm never satisfied, so it's a no. Just cut the bullshit like... Enough with that people-pleasing fucking answer and rah-rah motivational shit. Like, cut the bullshit. Like, there's a level of satisfaction that you can have where you say, fuck yeah, that was a good year. So don't say, oh, there's always room for improvement. That's, a, a, that's really a bitch-ass way out of it. A bitch-ass answer. So are you satisfied with the outcome of 2021 in your business or in the company you work for or the business you own, whatever it is? Are you satisfied with the outcome? Yes or no? Binary answers. It's just, it's just black and white. Like, that's it. Now let's let's talk about what are some of the, the things that you did in 2021 that were working? And, and talk about those things. Have a discussion with your leadership team about it. What are some of the things that worked in the business? In sales, in marketing, in lead generation, in closing deals, in referrals, all the different areas. What are... The thing, what are some of the things that are working in the business? You need to talk about them and see, okay, now how can we use this going forward in this new year to make sure we continue doing more of it? Like, what do we need to do more of? What's been fucking working? What do we need to do more of? And on the flip side, what didn't work? What do we need to do less of? And, and, and some of it probably simply just cut the fuck out. Like, what did you do this year? What did you work on that you should have cut out? Dead end projects. Wasted fucking time and energy and effort or put the wrong focus into something. Maybe bad habits you had in the business or bad motherfucking people in the business. What do you have that you need to cut out? Or what did you, what have you, what did you do or have in the business that you should have cut out? And now it's time to say, okay, what steps do we need to have? What steps do you need to take to cut this out of the business? Again, don't forget, we're talking strictly business right now. We'll save the personal life and the personal development and the personal self-discipline for tomorrow's episode of Steve Says. All right, let's talk about the actions of connections. Who did you connect with in, in 2021? Who did you make connections with in business? What business connections did you make? And if you don't have a list like that of several high-level, high possibility of networking business connections that you could just ramble off, you fucked up because any business, no matter what you're in, it's all about the connections you're making and the conversations you're having. 
No sale ever start without a, 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 without a, a simple conversation and then building that connection. And that's what's going to lead to multiple, to, to growth. So what, what connections did you make in 2021? And it should be, a, you should be having some on the top of your head. Then you have to think about it a little deeper. Then, you know, every question I say, what did, the next one's going to be about where did you fail? Where did you fall short? What connections did you fail at? What connections did you want to make? What types of connections did you want to make this year that you didn't make? Specifically with maybe certain people or certain types of people or certain businesses or certain other areas of the company. Like maybe it's connections with your team you failed to make. Maybe it's connections with your boss you failed to make. Maybe it's connections with a a vendor that you wanted to get on board or a, a high level prospect, an investor. What connections did you fail to make in 2021 in the business? Like think about this. And then so it's, it's usually what did we do? What didn't we do? What do we need to do? So then the third part of that is, all right, what connections do you need to make in 2022, which already fucking started now? I told you December 1st was New Year's. You need to be thinking that way. It's a new year right now. This is your chance. Your chance to do it again. Make it even fucking better than last year. So what connections do you need to make going in, or in, the, in, in 2022? So first, what connections did you make? Where did you fail to make connections? What connections do you need to make in 2022? And that might be connecting more with your team. That might be probably a lot of the ones you failed at. You think, all right, I failed these connections in 2021. Are they worth pursuing in 2022? So maybe you're going to cut some of those out. Maybe some of those are the things that are wasted energy, wasted focus you cut out. And you see the other ones like, fuck yeah, you need to connect with your team. Fuck yeah, you need to connect with your partners, your peers. Maybe you need to connect with a coach. Who do you need to connect with in 2022? Now let's talk on the creation side. Like, what did you create? What actual tangible things did you create this year that are reusable, that are scalable, that are moving the needle, that are making motherfucking money? What did you create in 2021 on the business side? What did you create? Is it, did, you, did you create a, a procedures manual, policies, procedures, standard operating procedures? Did you create marketing campaigns, email autoresponders, sales funnels, sales training programs, whatever it is, a coaching for your team, an onboarding process, a hiring process, a firing process. Did you create all these things? What did you create in 2021? And you know the flip side is, what did you fucking fail to create in 21? What products, courses, marketing materials, funnels, email sequences, ads, Facebook, social media, paid ads, whatever it is, what did you fail to create in 2021, which then, you know, the third part of that, like all the rest of these, all right, now what you need to create in 2022, what did you, what did, what did you create? Which one of those worked? Which ones you need to do more of? What did you fail to create? Then you decide which ones to cut out and which ones need to be created in 2022. This is how you need to be thinking about every area of your business. And then let's just be grateful for your business. What are you grateful for in your business? What did you achieve? What did you accomplish? What were the big fucking wins in 2021 in your business? And they don't all have to be involved with money. They can be. They don't have to be involved with numbers and statistics, but they can be. Probably a lot of them will be. But what are you grateful for in your team? What accomplishments did you have? What type of freedom do you have? In your business, what do you maybe? I'm maybe you're grateful for the freedom you have that you could work from home and you could work from anywhere that you're doing remote work. Like what? Maybe maybe you're grateful for your team. You're grateful for your 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 boss. You're grateful for what? What are you grateful for in the fucking business in the company right now? And let's talk that. That was kind of all the actions for the year. Let's talk about accountability. Yeah, the shit that a lot of people don't want to talk about. Facebook just cut out on us, but whatever. We're gonna keep fucking rolling. Let's talk about accountability. What did you fail to take accountability for in 2021? And sometimes we'll start with the fail. Sometimes we'll talk with the win. Whatever way. I don't really care which one you do first. But what did you fail to take accountability for in 2021? Like, where did you not step up? Where did you fucking bitch out? And you know that those are there. And and this is always one that people don't want to have an answer to. But it's there. Where did you fail to take accountability in 2021? And then let's let's go the opposite one of that. Where did you take accountability? Where do you step up, just shut up and nut up, and, and take responsibility, take accountability for what's going on? 
And don't just say all the wins and the victories. Pretty much it, the reason why we went in this order of this, and if we were in person, if we were doing a, a, a higher level, a deeper level coaching conversation about this, right at this point, after I asked you, what did you fail to take accountability for? What did you take accountability for? That should be matching up with a lot of the previous answers about what did you create, what didn't you create, right? What connections did you make? What connections didn't you make? And what you take accountability for, for the year, it shouldn't be like you taking accountability for the great numbers you had, the sales, the profits, the fucking money, and all this other stuff, all the wins, all the stuff that you should be giving your team credit for, if you have a team, and the things you should be saying that you 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 did you you took a take accountability for are should be all those previous failures we mentioned in those other sections that we just talked about a couple of minutes ago. So if we're in person, you get called down that bullshit. So I'm calling you out right now on your bullshit because I know you probably didn't, didn't didn't attack it that way. And then let's just talk about lessons. Like that's part of accountability. What lessons did you learn in 2021? Which Good lessons, bad lessons, the hard lessons, the the bad lessons are the better lessons. The badder the lesson, the better the lesson. The more brutal the fucking lesson, the more vicious and violent the fucking lesson, the better the lesson, the more impactful it's going to be. So what lessons did you learn in 2021 and how can you use them in 2022? Those lessons that you learned, those takeaways, those golden nuggets, those fucking aha breakthrough moments. How can you use them in 2022? But you can't, that's what this is all about right now. If you can see, we're having awareness for and reflection for the past, previous year so that we can propel forward into the new year and realize it's just awareness of having, all right, this is what I did good. need to do more of it. This is what I did bad. need to decide which of that bad stuff gets cut the fuck out and eliminated and which ones do I need to do better and focus on to make happen in 2022. This is the way you need to think about it. And we could go on and on about all different sections in here about uh, more on your your the decisions you made. There's a whole section we get on that. This is higher level coaching stuff that we would go through. It'd be like a three week process that we do, We're really breaking down the year and building up the pre the upcoming year on different decisions you make on designing designing your year coming up, uh, and really what fucking dreams and goals you have for the year coming up. Like where do you, where are you going to make it happen? Not just fucking dream, but an actual goal that you're going to commit to. So let's talk about that. What are your goals when it comes to the business in 2022? First of all, what were your goals in 2021? How many of those goals did you hit? This is where the accountability piece comes back in. And don't make fucking excuses. Why did you not hit the goals you had in 2021? Why did you have those goals? Or why did you hit not hit them? The ones you didn't hit. The ones you did hit, what allowed you to hit them? What worked that allowed you to hit them? So you know what to use to go forward into 2022. You know what your excuses are for not hitting those other ones. So don't make any fucking excuses. And this tells you what, what do you need to do more of that you're already doing that's working? What do you need to do less of? What do you need to cut out? What do you need to eliminate? What new skills might you need to learn to get to those goals? Because maybe your skills weren't up to par. Maybe, you know, when you're here at a certain level in business and life, the skills and everything you have you you are you don't have, might, might not have the skills to get to that next level or to get to those goals that you're looking for. So you might need some develop new skills, develop new habits, and that also is going to tie into what we're going to talk about tomorrow because that could be directly related to your personal life, morning routines, and your health and your fitness, nutrition, all that stuff we're going to talk about tomorrow on Steve says. And it's a huge part of it. What, let, let's talk about what is your business in your company? What is the theme going to be in your company for this year? What's your theme going to be this year? Now, my theme, I have a theme for myself overall, and that's for life. And we're going to go over that tomorrow. But what's your theme for the year? What are going to be your words of the year? And I'll share mine with you. We're going to break them down tomorrow more in detail, but I'll, give you, I'll tell you what they are right now. My theme, overall arching theme, is slow down. Slow down. Slow down in business. Slow down when I'm speaking on video, slow the fuck down so that it can be more impactful. Slow down so you can have more focus, more control, so that you can speed the fuck up, so that you can explode. Slow down to speed up to explode. Slow down will give that focus and control that's needed to speed up. Like you've heard the military saying, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. 
Well, guess what? Sometimes fast is sloppy and sloppy is motherfucking slow. So that's my overarching theme. My kind of words that fall in line with that. My words that are falling in line with that, like what are your words of the year? First, I want you to come up with a couple of words of the year that go along with your theme. What's your theme for your business or it could be for your life for the year? We're going we're gonna to go dive deeper into this tomorrow. But what are your themes for the year? What are your words for the year that go along with the theme? My words that go along with that slow down is strategize. Strategize basically means slow down, focus, and take control. Strategize. So I can weaponize, weaponize everything that happens, the good and the bad. So that I can maximize and motherfucking monetize. Hell yeah. Those are the words that are going right along with slow down. What, are you, what is your theme for the year in your business? What's your theme going to be? I had one uh, client who was next level. One client was attack the hill. Private coaching clients. One was don't stop. Don't quit. What is your theme? And then how do you support that? What words? Like right now, if I just tell myself my theme, I'm starting to go crazy. I'm sitting here. I can just say, slow down, slow down, slow down, deep breath, slow down. So I can get the motherfucking point across. Slow down when I'm talking on video. Slow down when I'm writing an email so I can get the point across more clear and concise. So it's not so fast, not rushing through it. Slow down also translates into my personal life when I'm my kids and family. And that's what we're going to talk about a lot on a deeper level tomorrow. So I want you to set this stuff for the year. Then what are your goals for the year? What are your, your end of the year? What's your big goal that you can judge? Maybe it's a certain amount of clients, a certain amount of revenue, certain amount of profits, whatever it is, certain amount of locations, certain amount of products, certain amount of courses, something at the end of the year that you can say, did I hit these goals? And, and you should have at least two or three, you know, two, three, three to five, whatever it is. What goals? Do you have for the business for the year? And then each of those, you need to break them down, reverse engineer them onto a daily basis. So those are your, pretty much like your aspirational goals, the goals you're, you're, you're looking to achieve, achievement goals, but then you need to break that down into disciplines, to discipline goals, to habits, process goals that are gonna get you to there. Like, all right, if I wanna make this amount of money, it means I'm gonna have to do this amount of calls, three calls per day to prospects. I'm gonna have to get one referral a week. Like you're gonna break that down into little bite-sized chunks that are going to be the building blocks that get you to that big goal. That's why you need to break this down about your goals for the year. So share with me, what is your theme for the year? What are your words for the year? What are your big fucking bold goals for the year? And then reverse engineer and break that down. And listen, if you need help with any of this, just reach out to me. We can schedule a deeper coaching conversation about this and talk about it and break it down for you. We can even, we can even deploy our team out to your company to train with your entire team. Or if you just need one-on-one, higher-level private coaching, online. We could do that. There's so many options to help you out with this stuff in creating these systems and processes in your business. And this is just one of them. This is a yearly review and goal setting for the upcoming year. But there's also so many other areas in your mind, your body, and of course your business here. We're talking on this business show on sales and marketing, hiring, firing, huge on creating SOPs, being more productive in your day, getting more done in less amount of time so you can have more time to do things you need to do and make more motherfucking money. So work on leadership, communication, teamwork, problem solving, critical thinking. That's what this is all about. So if you need help with any of that, send me a private message. Let's hop on the phone. Let's talk about it and see what type of coaching program might work for you. But in the meantime, post either below or just send me a private message. What is your business theme for the year? What are your words for the year that go along with that theme? And what are your three to five goals for the year? And then even on top of that three to five, what is like the number one goal? Like if this happens this year, this will be a successful year. The one thing, the one goal that you could really put as like the top of that fucking mountain. That if I hit this by December 1st, 2022, it's a successful motherfucking year. So don't wait till New Year's to start doing this shit. You need to do this stuff now. You need to get a head start on the competition. Head start on the fucking enemy. While they're sleeping and snoozing and thinking about holidays and taking off and it's a slow time of year. Fuck that. That's not how we operate on Steve Knows. So if you have any questions, comments, need help with any of this, just send me a private message. Let's talk about it. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.